In this lesson, you will solve subtraction problems by finding the distance between two numbers on a number line. You already know that when you subtract, you are finding the difference. The difference between two numbers is the distance between them. You can see this on a number line. 7 minus 4 can be represented as the space or distance between 4 and 7. If you count the distance or the spaces between these two numbers, you find that 7 minus 4 equals 3. The difference is a distance of three units. You can use this same method to find the distance between larger numbers. Let's say I want to find the difference when I subtract 87 from 243. I don't need a number line, which is good, because a number line to 243 would probably take up a few screens. I can actually create my own number line. All I need to do is draw a straight line with arrows on either end and mark my start point, 87, and some distance after, mark my end point, 243. How does this help you find the difference? Well, let's think about what we know. We know that on number lines, we count hops, not marks. We also know that there are some friendly numbers between 87 and 243. For example, 100 is a friendly number between 87 and 243. Let's hop from 87 to 100. Now, I need to think about how far I just hopped. If that's not something you can figure out quickly, your first hop can be even smaller. I can hop three spaces from 87 to 90, then 10 more to 100. So I just hopped a total of 13 spaces to get to 100. Let's hop to another friendly number, 200. That was an easy hop of 100 spaces. And finally, from 200 to 243, we know we just need to hop 43 spaces. Let's look at the total distance we traveled. 13 plus 100 plus 43. Now I have an easy addition problem that I can rewrite vertically or solve in my head. When I add 100 plus 43 plus 13, I find that the distance between 87 and 243 is 156. So 243 minus 87 equals 156. Let's see how this technique might help us solve a word problem. Nabisco produces 688 tons of Oreos every day. It also produces 371 tons of Ritz crackers. How many more tons of Oreos are produced each day? This question is asking us, what is 688 minus 371? I will start to solve this by drawing in my number line. I will make my first point at 371 and my second point at 688. Now I will figure out what the first friendly number I can get to is. 371 plus 9 is 380. 380 plus 20 is 400. 400 plus 200 is 600. And 600 plus 88 is 688. And we're there. Now let's add our hops. 9 plus 20 is 29, plus 200 plus 88. We can line this up vertically, or if we wanted to do this in our head, we could make it easier by adding 1 to 29 and taking 1 away from 88. Now we have 200 plus 87 plus 30, which I can do in my head to get 317. 688 minus 371 equals 317. Now you know how to solve subtraction problems by finding the distance between two numbers on a number line.